hello YouTube welcome back to the bison workshop I'm Bob and today we've got something here that uh, I've been interested in trying uh, I had to make a draw bar for the collets that I got I uh, went and got a set of collets and it's uh, MT2 collets and I got everything from eighth inch all the way up to half inch uh, I don't see me needing anything bigger than what I've got. And uh, I had to put the milling vise on here to raise it and use this other mock vise to go in it with a step up with a flat piece of steel that's half inch thick or three quarter inch thick to raise it up so that it would go down and so the blade would actually go down to the workpiece. So, yes, yeah, not the ideal setup. Uh, if I would have had the um, uh, turnstile that was actually supposed to go on this, uh, which I didn't get when I bought it new, it came without one, um, I would have been up high enough and wouldn't have had to bring this down any. But, you know, trial and error. So, we're going to uh, try to do the very first cut on the Harbor Freight milling machine. Everything is tight. And let's back this out and start it. And hope this thing don't fly apart in my face. since we ain't got a DRO on it.
one more pass out to get her. Now, I'm not going to do a whole lot of heavy cutting until I get a DRO so I know what I, how much I'm actually taking off of. Right now, this dial is in inches, so I have to judge it. Let me get a little old. smooth surface and there we have nice smooth surface it's square now we can take and turn that around Got that hole in it. I thought it wasn't all the way down. All right. Now we'll tighten that side down. Bring that into the work. And this time I'm going to run it in from the other side. If I got enough room. Alright. Put a little bit of Shaking in that thing right there. 
That surface. Yes. Got meal marks in it, but uh, all in all, it's pretty straight. Now let's do a test on it. Let's see how square it is. Thirty-five sixty-fourths inch, thirty-five sixty-fourths. Not gonna get an accurate reading on that because I got some little hang-ups there on the edges. But file it down a little bit. But there you have the uh, first-time use of the uh, fly cutter on the Harbor Freight mill drill lathe combo. And um, for no more than I'm going to be using this for, most of the stuff I'm going to be using it for is probably going to be for aluminum anyway. Uh, probably won't be doing a whole lot of steel, but then again, you never know. Uh, so now these two surfaces here are parallel with each other. And um, I think that'll work. Uh, at least it'll get me so that I can make some T nuts. Um, I've got to make two more of these. I made these on my drill press. Uh, T nuts. And they're no fun to do when you cut them in pieces. Best to do a whole long stock and then just uh, drill them and then cut them however long you want them. But these don't fit this. It fits my drill press. So. Uh, I got two for the drill press, I got two for the vise that was on here, and who knows, I might be able to use this one on the drill press and leave this milling vise over here. Uh, this one seems to be a little more practical for the milling, vise, or milling machine than this one is. So this one doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that one on the uh, drill, drill press. And um, as you can see, I got the fly cutters. And I think I paid somewhere around, um, well, it, it wasn't over $30. And I got three of them. This one, and these two. And um, then, like I said before, I got the, um, got all the, collets that I need so I got eighth inch three sixteenths five sixteenths 
quarter inch, three eighths, and a half inch. So I got seven all together, and they were only they were less than sixty bucks. So those will work for that. And um, then, uh, well, no, not then. I'm pretty much done with this. I just wanted to show you my first time uh, fly cutting on the Harbor Freight drill mill lathe. And there you have it. You guys have a good one. Later.